This is the very first thing I made for my game The First Tree, which is actually the second level of the game, and I call it the Chartreuse Plains. And like a lot of things, I started it off with a reference photo that I really loved. I just loved the contrast, and the colors were a perfect backdrop for the fox. So this was the feeling I was trying to recreate in Unity. And to save even more time, because there's a lot to juggle as a game developer, I used the stylized nature pack and the forest animal fox asset from the Unity Asset Store. And I'm gonna show you a really quick time lapse of how I made this environment. The first thing I did was modify the ground texture to match that dark brown found in the reference photo. I also messed with the terrain shader and found a metallic shine which looked cool. Next, I placed some trees using the Unity Terrain Editor and tried to match that bold yellow on the leaves. With this specific environment pack, I could actually change the leaves inside the Unity Editor, but normally you have to take a texture into Photoshop to modify it. I did the same thing with the grass texture. I changed the color to a type of golden wheat so that the dark ground would peek through occasionally. Underneath the trees, I would decrease the grass density, but in the fields it was mostly golden grass being moved by the wind. Unity does the hard work of adding color variety to each plane of grass, which adds contrast and color. After I was satisfied with the trees and the grass, I played with the directional light so that the strong shadows would be cast on the ground. There are sliders for shadow darkness and light intensity, so I just experimented until it felt right. I also added a lens flare, which seemed to annoy some people online, but I loved how cinematic it made it feel. Next. I knew I needed some clouds in the distance, but I didn't have time to paint an entire skybox. So I went to, you guessed it, the asset store. I actually found an amazing free asset called Fantasy Skybox. I imported that and adjusted the tint setting. I thought a complementary color to the fox would look great, so I went for an emerald green. I remember thinking how nice it was that the emerald green worked so well with the bright yellow. It was just something that worked by accident, like a lot of creative work. Next were the fine detailed touches, which actually added a lot to the scene in retrospect, especially with the minimalistic art style. I added some air particles which came with the pack, added some falling yellow leaf particles which emitted from the trees, and also some sun shaft particles near the trees as well to imitate volumetric light. I added some fog to give the impression of atmospheric haze, then went to the camera post-processing filters for some final touches. I added a vignette, a bloom, and a sun shaft effect. And there we have it, the second level of the first tree. Maybe it's a bit overwhelming seeing all the work done at once, but remember for you, it doesn't have to be one of five levels. You have an entire environment and a striking art direction ready to use. You could start and finish an entire game using this level alone. The amount of time you save by leveraging stock assets is astronomical. I know making a game can be overwhelming, but remember to ask yourself, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. <laughs>